by the bag, go get the money. Count that cash, then back to the money. Put that on repeat. Go get the bag, go get the bag, cause that's how we coming. What's up, YouTube? What's up, subscribers and everybody else who's watching? Before we get started, make sure y'all go ahead and like, subscribe to the channel for for more new videos and to see what I go what I got going on today. Um, in about 30 seconds, it's about to go down. I don't know if y'all can see right now. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's raining outside. Ain't too much I can do on the streets. And if you wonder how it's about to go down, it's about to go down because I'm about to sell my Mustang. My 27 Mustang EcoBoost is about to be gone. I'm going to explain to y'all why a little bit later in the video. I'm going to explain how much I purchased it for, how much I'm selling it for, why I'm selling it. And I may be able to walk y'all through the process if they allow my phone inside the building. I'm going to flip this around right quick so y'all can see. I am at five star. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm at five star Dodge Jeep Chrysler, all that good stuff that they make in Millersville. I tried Butler Ford first. I tried Butler Ford first in Millersville. They offered me a similar price, but due to some things in the past um, and, a, and a slightly better price, I decided to come here. I'll also explain that at the end of the video. See you guys soon, and I'm about to take it in. Let's get this paperwork done. All right, so this the car right here. 2017 Mustang. The main reason I'm selling it is because it, it sits kind of low on the inside. It hurt my back due to a situation I had a couple years ago. Um, had a small accident right here. Um, that's one of the reasons that I'm selling it to a dealership. Had I sold it to somebody private. Had I sold it to somebody private, I would have to, t to get that repaired. Or they would have wanted to go down on the price. And my second reason for selling it. My second reason for selling it is the, um, the check engine light. It wouldn't take much to fix that, but um, it's like a small issue with a sensor. And the ABS sensor sometimes goes off. I tried to get it fixed once, but they, they didn't do it properly. So I want to keep spending money to try to do it again. The inside is a little dirty, needs to be cleaned up, but everything is good. Nothing is broken. Everything is A1. When I bought this car, I paid $16,000 for it. Um, I added on another $3,000 to cover um, for an extended warranty. I'm not really extended, uh, including that extended warranty in my purchase price because that was kind of like a bit of an insurance for myself. Um, here today, I'm selling the car for $18,500. So technically, I'm making I'm making about two thousand two thousand five hundred dollars on the car, minus the amount of money that I spent for the um, for the extended warranty. Of course, the money that I paid for for insurance and stuff like that is of course a loss to me. That's just kind of um, a fee for being able to use the car. So I'm not counting that. To be able to have this car for almost two years, to be able to sell it, to be able to make a profit on a used car that I um, bought almost brand new. It's kind of like an extraordinary thing in my opinion. Typically when people buy these type of cars, they expect to lose money. Uh, let me switch the camera back around. I don't know if you guys saw it earlier, but it has about 83,000 miles. All in all, a pretty good car. Had it sold it myself, I think I could've got about maybe $22,000. That's after putting about maybe Two thousand dollars work in. I sell it for twenty-two thousand dollars, so that's that's about a twenty thousand dollars sale. Uh, here I'm selling it for eighteen five. I'm not wasting the time. I'm trying to find find a buyer. I'm not wasting the guest work. I'm not taking time off of work. So I'm, I'm willing to make that smaller profit in order to avoid the hassle. All right, here I'm going back in. Go ahead and get everything done. All right, y'all, so I'm back at work. I did indeed sell the car. I don't have the money for it right now, the way that it works, being that I still owe a certain amount on the car. That amount is going to be paid to the bank that I owe that money to. Um, once they get done, um, they're going to send the title here. That place is in Colorado, so it may take a week or so. Once they send that title here to the dealer that I sold the car to, they're going to cut me a check for the, um, the difference in the price between what I owed and what they're paying, and I'm going to be all done with it. So for the most part, the car is gone. Um, I'm on to the next. I guess that's technically car number.
car number four slash five, depending on how I count it. Um, like I said, my goal for this year is 10, and I want to make at least $1,000 on each car. This car still puts me in that range. I'm making about $2,2500. Hopefully, I can do this with about five more cars before the end of the year. I do just see that the market is kind of slowing up a little bit, but I have two cars ready to go. Hopefully, I can get these cars going, plus another three more, and we'll be at our 10 for the year. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like, leave any comments or questions that you have down there in the comment section. Um, look down in the description section and check out my links if you want to give a donation. Um, if you want to look at some of my investment information, some of my links. Um, I don't know if I just said that. If I did, hit the like button. <laughs> y'all make sure y'all subscribe, and I'll catch y'all on the next video. I'm out. How about a bag? Go get the money. Count that cat and back to the money. Put that on repeat. Go get the bag. Go get the bag. Cause that's how we coming.